One, two, three, four. Is the mic gonna work this time? Blah, 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 blah. Mic. Uh. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. What is going on guys, it is Blue Notes here, and today what I got for you guys is the time I almost died. Now this isn't really a very extreme story of how I almost died, it's just how I almost drowned actually. This was about maybe a week ago, I think it was about last Friday. Me and my friend Devante, my friend TJ, and my friend Koda all decided we're going to go to a lake and go swimming. Devante said he was going to pick us up, so he, eventually he did come and pick us up and we all decided to go to the lake in his car. So we get to the lake and we start, you know, we just walk in and we're having pretty fun. We're uh, messing around, we're playing around, we see this giant bridge and we're jumping off the bridge. I'll put a clip in it right now so you can see us jumping off the bridge. And you'll see Devontae's crazy brother do a backflip into it, it's crazy. Go TJ! But yeah, so we're at this lake and at this lake there's this bridge. And if you go under the bridge, the lake extends on again so like I don't know how to explain it but there is more to the lake after you go under the bridge but once you go under the bridge to get to the other lake part I guess you could say there's this waterfall and this waterfall it's not really it's not big at all it's about maybe two feet off the ground it's not big at all but it's just strong enough to push you if you get into the current and it pushes you far like it don't push you like low or anywhere like it pushes you pretty far so, I don't remember where Devontae was, I think he was back at the table eating, but me, TJ, and Coda, we're at the other side of this lake, and we're messing with the, the current. It's really just me and TJ messing with the current, we're just jumping into it and letting the current take us. Now, it sounds stupid, but it was actually pretty fun at the time. I guess it was just because we were with our friends, but we were having really fun just jumping into the current. But now, it's not deep at the beginning of the current, it's very shallow, it's about maybe two feet deep in the current. But as the current takes you, it gets to about, I don't even know, maybe eight, nine feet deep. So we asked Coda why he wasn't going to jump in the current with us. And then he tells us right then and there he doesn't know how to swim. I guess you could say me and TJ felt bad for Coda because he doesn't know how to swim. So I guess, you know, we thought we were strong and whatever. We could pick up Coda and bring him into the deep end with us. And pretty much like, I don't, I don't know what it's called. I think it was called... Uh, trot, uh, trot. I don't remember what it's called. But it's like when you move your feet and your legs and you just... It's pretty much standing in the water, but like not touching the water. So me and TJ have Coda by his arms and we're just in the, we jump into the current. And when we jump into the current, like I said, you could touch the floor for a little bit, but then it pushes you out to a, like this giant drop off. It just drops off to like nine, 10 feet. So we get pushed out into the drop off and Coda notices he can't touch the ground. So he jumps onto me and TJ. Like he takes his right arm and his left arm and he puts his right arm on my shoulder and his left arm on TJ's shoulder and he pushes us under the water so he can like extend his body out of it. Kind of like trying to get out of the deep end. So somehow I'm able to break loose from Coda and I'm able to jump out and get a breather because he held us under there for like 30, 40 seconds. And I can't even hold my breath long enough for like 10 seconds. I don't know how I did it then. So I can't really remember what I did or how I did it, but if I'm not mistaken, what I did was I went under the water all the way to the ground and I grabbed Coda by his feet and I pushed off of the ground, pushed Coda out of the way and into the shallow end. At least I tried to get him into the shallow end. I can't remember what happened, but all I remember is that he was able to jump on top of uh, TJ and push him under the water. And I knew I had to get like TJ out of there somehow. So I kind of like grabbed Coda and ripped him off of TJ and put him, then I pulled him into the shallow end and I grabbed TJ and put him into the shallow end too. So TJ could breathe because TJ was under there for like a minute. He wasn't even under there as short of a time as I was. So after being almost drowned, I guess you guys are probably wondering where does Devontae come into play? Devontae doesn't because Devontae sat in the shallow end and watched us nearly drown. He didn't do nothing about it. He sat there and he, so after me and TJ nearly got drowned by Coda, we decided to just laugh it off as like a funny moment, like we almost died, you know. It was like a funny moment at the time. But I can't remember who came up with it, but I think it was Coda that came up with the little prank we could pull on our friends. Hashtag pray for TJ and put it on our stories on Snapchat. So we did. We put hashtag pray for TJ on our stories and we made people think that TJ drowned when he didn't drown. He was completely fine, but he almost did. That's why we thought it would be funny. That's it for next time. I'm going to let you guys try and figure out what do you think happened if TJ got in bad trouble or if anything bad happened or if nothing happened. I'm going to let you guys figure that out. 
if this video does really well, I'll do a part two to this and I'll tell you exactly what happened. Uh, but yeah.